I'm not sure if you folks can hear that music, but it sounds like the, the, the King Shane Williams music. I'm not sure if Shane Williams is Maria's original prodigy or not. She looks somewhat confused. As you see, the red carpet is coming out for Shane Williams. There he is. Shane Williams and the one and only Becky Bayless. Some of you may know Becky Bayless formerly in TNA Wrestling as Cookie. But long before Cookie, folks, Becky Bayless is a very accomplished professional wrestler. She is not just some eye candy, even though she is quite beautiful. She is not just an outside performer. She is a force to be reckoned with in the middle of that ring. Shane Williams, definitely one of the rising stars in professional wrestling. One of the, the reasons, if, if none, to watch Crossfire Wrestling is Shane Williams. The king of old school. Becky Bayless trying to show her dominance to Maria. King of Nashville, Tennessee. And nobody, nobody in Nashville, Tennessee even cares about women's wrestling. I have to completely disagree with that. folks, making his debut in Crossfire Wrestling, the one and only. Oh! And it's starting out hot and heavy. The one and only Chase Stevens here in Crossfire Wrestling, taking it to the king of old school, Shane Williams. Oh! Big clothesline, Shane Williams to the outside on the floor right now. Shane Williams definitely not expecting the one and only Chase Stevens to be here. Chase really giving it to Shane Williams on the outside right now. Chase, who's always in phenomenal shape, looks actually great. Oh, you see Becky Bayless with the low blow. Oh, and a big suplex onto the outside on the hard concrete. As you know, in November, the concrete's a little bit colder, a little bit harder. Shane Williams throwing Chase back into the middle of the ring. 
Fans chanting Burger King loud and proud. Shane Williams closed fist. Referee Jesse putting the count on him. Tell him to open those fists up. Looks like he one more for good measure. This right here is the reason to watch Crossfire Wrestling fans. You see two professional wrestlers at the top of their game, in their prime, in the middle of the ring. Into the ropes and a big, big drop kick by Chase Stevens. Chase got some great elevation on that drop kick. Big right hand by Chase. Shane in the corner. Irish rip. Ooh, big foot to the face. Shane didn't see that. Chase didn't see that coming at all. Completely blindsided. One. Chase not allowing that to happen. Little more than a one count on that. Big brack breaker right there by Shane Williams on a Chase Stevens. You hear the fans chanting Burger King. Really getting under the skin of Shane Williams. Looks like, yep. Nice body slam right there. The one thing you have to give, whether you like Shane Williams or you don't like Shane Williams, Shane Williams is without question at the beautiful, beautiful punch off the second rope. Reminiscent of the one Jerry the King Lawler. As I was saying, Shane Williams is without question at the top of his game right now. Definitely the future of professional wrestling. Even though he calls himself the king of old school, goes out there, puts on this show like he is the, 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 the better king of wrestling, Shane Williams is the future of wrestling. He is incredible. Beautiful, beautiful reversal by Chase Stevens. Quickly up to his feet. Reversal into the roast by Shane Williams. Big flying forearm. That right there reminiscent of Tito Santana. Into the ropes. Big scissor kick right there. Bending combination, two count. I think Chase thought it was over right there. You see how quickly Chase gets to his feet. The agility that man has is absolutely incredible. Kick to the gut. Beautiful, beautiful DDT, spinning DDT. You see Shane Williams not only spun him, but then kicked off the top rope to give more force on that DDT. Almost a three count right there. Chase just barely kicked out of that one. Becky Bayless on the outside. You hear the fans chanting Shane. Obviously solidly behind the, the fan favorite, Chase Stevens. Second rope again, looks like he's gonna go for this one more time. Pulling down the strap. Oh, this time definitely telegraphed that. Took a long time on the second rope. Chase Stevens put his feet up on that one. Becky Bayless on the second rope, looks like Maria. That's right, Maria's not having any of that. Maria said if you wanna involve yourself, then she's gonna involve herself as well. Chase Stevens not able to see that. Looks like, yep. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. One, two, three. Winner of the match, Chase Stevens. I personally cannot wait to see what happens, transpires between Becky Bayless and Maria Canellis.